What's up everybody, Mikey Revolt from Low Route Customs. I'm here in my own personal garage today, as you can see. We're here to show you how easy it is to install Vans V-Twin Lock-On System Grips for throttle by wire applications on my 2017 Dyna Lowrider S. Let's go. Before we get started on the install, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about why these grips are so great, and then also open up the box and show you exactly what you have inside. First things first, these are 100% made in America by a company in California called ODI. These have a billet alloy clamping mechanism. No need for any kind of grip glue, safety wire, WD-40, hairspray, whatever you guys all argue about on how to put on and off grips. None of that's needed. There's two bolts on the clamping mechanisms for the billet alloy aluminum, and once you clamp them on, it's gonna stay for good. <laughs> Got a little dippy. These also come in a wide array of colors from black, brown, red, silver, and also the bottom of your shoe gum. I'm gonna actually install these on the bike because I thought it would look really good with my Harley emblems and also the wheels. All right, let's open these bad boys up and see what's going on inside, what you all get. All right, first things first, check out that throttle tube. It's already installed, it's already installed. You ever try to put a gum grip on a throttle tube? That guy in a little coat, that guy in a little coat. Holy crap, it is a pain in the ass. So this is saving you a ton of time and less frustration. So super stoked on that. It's gonna make our install a lot easier. On the clutch side, you can see that the clamp is already opened and loosened. I also see a little bit of blue Loctite on those uh, bad boys. So that's pretty cool uh, that it's gonna make our life a lot easier. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just if they're not loose enough, loosen them a little bit, slide it on. So that's cool. It also has a baby Torx wrench in there. It's a T15 handle. A uh, little baby one. And I think I saw instructions at the bottom. Yeah, there's some instructions. We don't need those. That's why you got us. All right, let's get these grips up on the bike. Okay, here's the first step. Really simple. If you have a shitty towel laying around or a blanket, you wanna grab that and cover your gas tank if you care about your motorcycle. If you don't care about it, then don't worry about this step at all. You can just skip it. For me, I don't wanna drop a socket or a bolt, scratch or ding up the paint, and then I uh, have to send it off to painters. So. Uh, cover up your gas tank. Step two, I'm going to remove the Lowbrow Customs AMF grip that I have on this motorcycle. If you have a stock uh, grip that is on your motorcycle, you might have to remove the casing of the odometer light switches and stuff here in this nature. There's a T25 on the bottom and a T27 on the clutch clamp. Loosen those up and that should free that up. If they glued it on there, you're gonna to have to cut this off with a razor blade and peel it off. It depends on what kind of model you have. They're all a little different. If you wanna take off a gummy grip, like such as this AMF grip here, uh, this one is glued on. Uh, I'm going to have to razor blade it off as well. I tried using my air gun and my little baby air compressor that I have in my personal garage is not strong enough to get it off and or the glue is too strong. You son of a so I'm gonna use the razor blade method and get this bad boy off any way I can. So there we go, we're gonna to go to it. Super simple, just slicing it down. Anything you gotta to do to get that thing off of there because we're trying to put new ones on. And don't cut your hands, people. That's for another video, another day. All right, just peeling that bad boy off. Oh yeah, these are glued on there for sure on the bottom there, they were glued. All right, that's off. Cool, easy peasy. Now that we got the lowbrow customs grip off of the handlebar, we're going to install the Vans V-Twin locking grip onto the handlebar. Super simple, on the clutch side, it is just a clamping mechanism that has two Torx bolts on the clamp. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that those bolts are facing down, unless you like to see bolts, but uh, most people don't. So you wanna face those down on the handlebar so you're not seeing them. It has a nice cool checkerboard pattern on there. So really, really neat looking grip. I'm gonna slide this onto the handlebar. And as you see it sliding onto the handlebar, you'll notice it gets a lot firmer as you get closer to the end. And then I'm going to orientate that clamp so that I don't really see too much of the actual bolt. I'm going to use the supplied Torx wrench to just Kind of loosely tighten this right now. I don't want to fully tighten it because I might want to orientate it based on my throttle side. So I'm just kind of 
getting it going a little bit. And you can feel already that's really firm. It will move a little bit until you get it fully tightened, but that's a really nice grip. Stoked on that. Now let's move over to the uh, throttle side. This one, you will have to remove the T27 for the brake. And then you'll also have to loosen up the housing on your turn signal slash hazards and your horn and all that shit. So you're gonna have to remove the bolts. There's the T25 on the bottoms here and then the T27. So we're gonna get that going now. So once you get the throttle tube off of there, we can put the new one on and it's that simple guys. Okay, first up T27, I'm gonna break that free. Loosening that up. T25, we're gonna unloosen the bottom one and then there's a top boy up here as well. So you wanna loosen those. Got my extension so we're not hitting anything. Thanks for that little tip, Todd. Use my long extension. As you can see, it's already loosening off the bar. Get the top one here. So we should be able to pull this apart that's the top. So this is where the towel comes in very handy. If you say your brake lever flew off when you're loosening this, uh, they'd bang right into your gas tank and that's no bueno. Once those are loose, you know, just a hand, hand screwdriver kind of, or your extension just works great. You don't have to use a ratchet. Okay, so both the bolts are off. Take that off, the clamp. The box I've been using also to keep my parts in there, which is great. Okay, and then we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna just gently pull the housing down. All your wires and stuff are inside these bars. They're throttled by wire bars, so. And then look at that. It just pops right off, like so. Now you can see on the end of the bar here, there is a plastic chinga, and it's got a tooth that goes into the other tooth, that is your throttle by wire. So you wanna make sure that that stays in those teeth when you're putting on your new grip. You don't wanna pull that out. Um, that is what controls the throttle. So you can see here, this little mechanism actually moves. When the throttle spins, that moves. If this is not locked in the key, it's not all the way pushed in, it's not gonna throttle correctly. You can see I already had the, th the throttle tube on there. That was a bitch to put on. So. Thank you ODI for putting this one already together. If you want, you can double check the clamping mechanism is tight. This one actually is a little loose, so I'm gonna tighten that before putting it on. Just double check that that is tight. So that one's good. It was just a little loose, so wanna make sure that you're tightening that down all the way. That is, is good to go. Inside, there is a ton of little teeth that match the teeth on the edge of this. Real simple guys, it just slides right on. Throttle by wire is one of the simplest installs. You don't have to mess around with those stupid little baby ball chingas or all that stuff. There we go. And you can see that that works just like that. Super simple. All right, so now we're gonna put our housing back on. Like so. And then you'll match up your brake into the slot. There it goes. There's a little tooth. I'll have a close up. You'll see those match up. And then we're going to put our cap back on for the brake. Bolts. T27. Just going to loosely fit those in. And then we'll rotate it where we want on the bike, the way we like them. My cap for the controls just goes over top. You can hear it all snap into place, which is a good thing. And then you put your T25s back in. Change. Nice thing about hoodies, you can put your tools in the hoodie as long as you remember where you put your tool. One T25, loosely fit. Again, loosely just snugging these up by hand and then we'll take the socket wrench and give it its final whammy. These are inch pounds, so no need to go crazy and torque in them. If you have an inch pound torque wrench, look up your spec. So I can feel them getting tight. 
So then I'm just gonna go a little click, click, click. You can feel it. You can feel if you're going too tight. That one's already pretty good, but a little bit more. There you go. All right, that's it. We're gonna tighten this one down. We use the uh, long side first to tighten it down and then you can use the short one to give it its final whammy. Bam, that's it guys. Super simple install as promised. And ooh, would you feel those? Those feel awesome. I'm super stoked and that clamp is working really well. Those aren't going anywhere. Last thing I gotta do before putting that on the road, sit on the seat, put my hands up on the handlebars and make sure that all my controls are in those happy places. If not, you got that T25 and T27 to help loosen it up, rotate it a little bit, tighten her down and try it again until you're happy. The last thing you wanna do is go reach it for some brake and it's not there. In any case, if you're looking for throttle by wire or throttle by cable, Vans, V-Twin, lock-on grips, that is a mouthful. We have them at lowbrowcustoms.com for you in a wide array of colors. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and until next time, thanks for watching.